Reverend Apostles, you remember there was a certain church I met you. And the leader of that church had a very genuine call, a teacher of the gospel. But you know what happened? They all caught, they invaded the assembly through a certain personality. And because the, of the way it was, it was so terrible that all righteous men had to find their way. A good move of God was committed to them. And the occult invaded it. And this great teacher, in want of discernment, began to endorse a product of the devil. And he called it the work of God. When he reached that stage, that friendship had to end. Then after a long time I visited and the lecture that day was how to interpret dreams and that blue color means this, yellow means this. Hey, Amine Kai Takobe. Occult invasion. It doesn't matter how pure your, your calling is. The occult can invade it. Yes. And many of the strong people that have not died, but their voices have died, they were victims of invasion. As we pray for revival, we need to ask God to bequeath to us the gift of discernment of spirit in higher doses and great measures so that we can stop the devil as he tries to masquerade the, the things that God is doing when there's revival and God begins to open his chambers I want you to know who this devil is he has the capacity to mimic God so perfectly because he was in Zion he was in Zion he administered things that had to do with priesthood he knows the potency of your prayer if they are accurate and that's why one of the things he will ensure is to stand against your prayer life because he knows he was there he was in the back end of of the priesthood layer angels that would take the incense from your prayer and uh, add spices to it to make it effective in the sanctuary so he knows prayer he knows how it works he knows his power he knows how to corrupt it he knows how to distract you he knows what to do what to touch that your great fire will burn low. We are going to pray. Let there be a mighty weight of the investment of discernment. That you and me might hear a voice behind us say, This is the way, walk in it. Beware of what is becoming popular. Always check with God if, if this trend is from him. If not, remember that the way of the prophet many times is lonely because it's called to pioneer the accurate path that leads to the presence of God. It is very easy for you to be preaching success motivation, preaching positive thinking and think you are preaching the gospel. No valiant man ever rose through motivational preaching. No valiant man. Jesus was not a motivational preacher. And we see a season where prayer sessions are substituted for strategy meetings. That we are afraid enough. Now let us think. For God is able. God is able to do exceeding abundantly above that which you can ask and think and a preacher said you're asking and thinking on the same level <laughs> Michael Silamita you know when people when people don't visit their village and they never had an opportunity to war because their grandfathers were born again were the ones that 
that sounded the bell for morning prayer their grandfathers so there's a heritage of righteousness already established so he can come and say your asking and thinking is on the same level and we spend all our time asking and we do not think so it's time to think put yourself on a thinking diet in Africa <laughs> for your information i think i think so wide but what activates that thinking frequency is my prayer turbine because the bible teaches that your spirit became life when the holy spirit inhabited it and when you begin to pray in the spirit you know you can be praying and then there's distraction but the time comes when your mind is disciplined by the spirit at that time your mind becomes life that's when you can think god's thoughts because it is possible god was the one that invited us and said come let us reason together there's an ascendancy that you will gain before you can think god's thoughts and think on his frequency what thinking are you talking about is it thinking according to the power of the flesh or thinking god's thoughts when you have been animated by the holy ghost in your mind there is a mad drive to stop the preaching of the gospel and to begin to do these generationally compliant positive thinking stuff prophets need to come because a prophet knows that if he has heard god even though he doesn't have any support he knows he's right he knows he's right people that have that have confidence in their conviction to pioneer again afresh the ways of our god can we pray as a lord a heavy dose of the grace of of discernment he said you will hear a voice behind you say that the things that will be responsible for your judgment will not be the will not be what you saw with the sight of your eyes or your, the hearing of your ears but you will hear you will hear a voice you will hear a voice you will hear a voice behind you say this is the way this is the way you will hear a voice when you're about to miss it you will hear a voice you will hear a voice behind you don't leave us without that voice that inner voice that voice that takes judgment beyond face value that voice that voice that is a disclosure of the perspective of god and you will hear a voice you will hear a voice i call many ilabroske sekembelesko bodia abaka mansala baboria you will hear a voice as you go around preaching the gospel from place to place whoever becomes your friend let him become your friend by the witness of that voice as you move from nation to nation you will not have so much access to the history of the people that will be coming to you but you will hear a voice a voice behind you a voice behind you saying this is the way walk in it that our spirits might be galvanized by the light of god so that we can see beyond the judgment that comes from our eyes and the testimony that comes from our ears he said with righteousness he shall judge and make war I must sell a courier, Miss Compel, Abiro Doboski, Rabodia, Icabrescuba La Montale, Sambro Oscoto Motoro Boboria, Jima Madigoske, Alima Sabria Tababon Sheketa, Rante Cuba Abra Aba Seco Dale, Ilama Manselibo Combregede Samata. La Combre, Zika Pate Manzali. In the name of Jesus. Isaiah chapter 11, verse 3. 
don't forget this scripture and shall make him quick of understanding in the fear of God and he shall not judge after the sight of his eyes neither shall he reprove after the hearing of his ears so you cannot change his mind because you say something he shall not judge it will go beyond face value he shall not judge after the sight of his eyes he shall not judge after the hearing of his ears and how does he judge them verse 4 but with righteousness shall he judge the poor and reprove with equity for the meek of the earth he shall smite the earth with the rod of his mouth and with the breath of his lips he shall slay the wicked he shall judge by righteousness I don't know if it has happened to you before some of the best people around your lives then somebody just comes to spoil them and you accept it sometimes it's not even someone it's a demon that comes and say this one is fighting you but that will not work for him because he will not judge after the sight of his eyes as you begin to rise in your calling many people want to be your friends but he shall not judge after the sight of his eyes not the hearing of his ears many people want to spoil other people that seem to have access to you and the game at that level is to look for an occasion to come close and all kinds of darkness will be manifesting at that level if you are someone that is you like hearing things you will now hear a lot of things until your heart becomes darkened but he shall not judge after the sight of his eyes not the hearing of his ears but with righteousness he will judge and he will make war can we ask finally beyond the sight of our eyes beyond the hearing of our ears cause us to judge by righteousness and to war by righteousness let us cry to him